Rupert, I just looked at an iconic mutual fund not managed by BlackRock that has a 92% correlation to the S&P 500. They didn't beat the S&P last year. Their sharp ratio didn't beat the S&P last year. Why am I in an active fund? What's the passive active debate after another bang up double digit year? Look, I think the debate is that active managers need to prove their value for money. And I think it's not just clients that are very focused on this. It's also the, the regulators, uh, new regulations. The FCA is very focused on, you know, uh, index hugging uh, active funds. And people need to demonstrate performance in the end because people know that clients can go passive. They can use very cheap, very flexible products. So, you know, that's the debate. And certainly, you know, within BlackRock, where we obviously have passive and active funds, the debate is if you're, if you're running an right. active fund, and if you're charging for that, you need to demonstrate the value you're adding. It's okay. as simple as that. But, but, but active managers' theme is when things get lousy, they outperform passive funds. You're coming in with all of your unique skill sets. When you're in those meetings, do you buy that, that you need a doom and gloom market to justify an active manager's existence? No, I'm not sure you need that, although I think that it, you know, it helps. And I think a lot of funds you know, proved their worth during, during the last downturn. Uh, I think one of the things that also helps is the, the, the decline we've seen in correlations. One of the things that in the sort of early period of this recovery made it very tough for active managers was the very high cross-asset correlations, not just within the stock yep. market, but across different asset classes. And it was really dominated <clears> by you know, it, binary decisions around you know, QE, no QE, risk on, risk off. That has really changed changed over the last 18 months and you're seeing very surprisingly low levels of correlations. Um, for example, you know, one, of this, one of the things that explains the low absolute level of volatility in the, in the S&P is the incredibly low level of um, correlation across sectors. Uh, and so that's the kind of environment where active managers should be able to add value because you know, th their decisions are not just being swamped by these big up-down moves.